As Hurricane Irma approached Florida, it seemed inevitable that it would impact Paso County. 5A in Hudson, Florida closed its doors as an academic institution and opened them as a shelter for evacuees. While they expected many evacuees to show up, they were surprised at the number of student volunteers that did as well. I was blessed and fortunate to be able to serve as the shelter manager, one of them, for our um, 5A high school when we opened for Hurricane Irma. And then we were also blessed to have many, many shelter volunteers. I was overwhelmed and blessed and completely full of gratitude. We had over 60, 60 5A students that said, I got you, what do you need? And for some of them stayed the entire time, some of them did exactly what they could do because they had to go to work or take care of their own families. I was so blessed because I can guarantee you no other school in our entire district had 60 of their own students show up of their own free will. Um, so that was a, definitely a blessing. Um, I could not, there's no way I could have done this without those guys. Dr. Stanley made sure that the students' effort did not go unnoticed. Once school resumed, 5A administration acknowledged their leadership, but they weren't in it for the recognition. I volunteered at the 5A high school shelter because after seeing what happened to Houston, it inspired me to make my community safer. I volunteered uh, at 5A high school to help my community and give back to them since they gave so much to me through fundraising and my games. They just helped me through the last four years of my high school and I just feel like it was my turn to give back. I just volunteered. I volunteered because like people needed help and my mom wanted me to help and to get the process done faster, get everybody into their rooms and stuff and just helping people make you feel good about yourself. These 63 students are proof that 5A is more than just a school but a bigger part of the Hudson community. Helping prove that anyone can weather the storm when you come together as one. This has been Lucas Meek with the Wingspan News.